I am Anil Kumar and in this video we are going to understand how to solve rational equations. We are starting with very simple example and then we will take up complex ones. How to solve rational equations is a very basic and fundamental question. A rational equation is one which has two or more rational expression and we have an equal to sign that makes it rational equation. You'll find two kind of rational equations. One which will be kind of a proportion which is written here. Something equals to something in these ratios. Now this is kind of proportion. Let me write here. Which is kind of A over B equals to C over D. And in this proportion you should note that B should not be equals to zero and even d should not be equal to 0 since denominator cannot be 0. It makes it undefined. In such a case when you have a over b equals to c over d method to follow is cross multiply. If you do not have a proportion then my suggestion is find the lowest common denominator and multiply both sides by lowest common denominator multiply by lowest common denominator so that ways you kind of make it linear or, or whatever but you reduce the fraction part to a bare minimum and then it becomes simpler to solve so that is a basic rule. If you see that the rational equation is of the form of a proportion a over b equals to c over d then you can cross multiply and solve. If not then find the lowest common denominator and solve. That is the first part. The second part is before even solving any rational equation write down restrictions. you should understand that there will be many times when you may get an answer which may lead to extraneous solution that means that answer may give you something over zero in the main equation so it is kind of important when you solve any rational equation check your answer right if you write restrictions in the beginning check answer with restrictions that is what I'm trying to suggest, right? So these two are my suggestions to solve rational equations. Now let us adopt these methods and solve both the equations given here. First one is 5 over x minus 2 equals to 2 over x plus 1. It is like a proportion a over b equals to c over d. So we'll cross multiply and solve. But remember, first thing you have to write restrictions correct so restriction here is that x should not be equal to 2 since it will make it 0 this denominator or minus 1 now begin solving your equation so we'll cross multiply since it is a proportion so we get 5 times x plus 1 equals to 2 times x minus 2 expand that is distributive property right so first step is cross multiply, second is distributive property. I'm not writing them, but you need to write 2x minus 4. Then you take away constants from each side, which is minus 5 from each side and minus 2x. So ultimately we'll get 5x minus 2x equals to minus 4 minus 5. 5x minus 2x is 3x and minus 4 minus 5 is minus 9. Now you can divide both sides by 3 so you get minus 9 over 3 which is minus 3. Now check your solution with the restriction. You understand? If the question says check your solution then you have to substitute minus 3 here and see do you get the same thing on both sides or not. Correct? So let's do that part also. So I'll substitute minus 3 here so what do I get? I get 5 over 
minus 3 minus 2 that is equals to 5 over minus 5 which is minus 1. If I write minus 3 on the right side I get 2 over minus 3 plus 1 which is 2 over minus 2 which is also minus 1. So my solution is correct. So that is how you should check your solution. That's first part. But easy way is once you have written the restriction check your solution with the restriction. Now the second equation is 3 over 2x plus 1 over 4 equals to 2 over 8x. This is not like a proportion. It is not a over b equals to c over d. So here find the lowest common denominator. So the lowest common denominator for us in this case is 8x. So we'll multiply each term by 8x. So what I'm trying to say here is kind of like this. So we will do 8x times the first term plus 8x times the second term equal to 8x times the third term, right? So let me write down the terms now so that, you know, so it is 8x times 3 over 2x, 8x times 1 over 4, 8x times 2 over 8x. Now this helps to get rid of fractions. That's the whole idea. So x and x cancels out. You get 2, 4 times. Here 4 goes 2 times. And in this case, 8x gets cancelled off. Correct? So what you are left with is 4 times 3 is 12. Right? Plus 2x equals to 2. Got it? So when you multiply it by 8x, you get 2 on the right side. Here you get 2 times x and in this case 4 times 3 is 12. That is what you get. Now you can combine the like terms and solve. So you get 2x equals to 2 minus 12 which is 10 with a negative sign and x is equals to minus 10 divided by 2 which is minus 5. Correct? What we forgot here is to write restrictions. So before you start, right, x is not equal to 0 in this case. Since 0 is going to make it, make the denominator 0. You're getting the point. So you get minus 5. Now you can substitute minus 5 and verify whether you get the right solution or not. Let this, let this be your exercise. But I hope with this you understand that in this chapter of solving rational equations, algebra 1, we are going to adopt only two methods. If the equation is given in proportion form, then ensure that the denominator is not zero by writing restrictions. Cross multiply, find the answer. Check your answer with the restriction. If it is not a proportion kind, then find the lowest common denominator. Multiply each term with lowest common denominator, simplify and get the answer. I hope that will help you to get all the questions correct. Thank you and all the best.